back at Halloween 45. Got my little buddy here with me this year. Five years ago, he wasn't even he wasn't even alive. But now we're at Halloween 45 together, me and my little adventurer. He likes Michael Myers, so we're gonna see Michael Myers. Join me in another exploratory adventure. Welcome to Halloween 45. Love seeing the t-shirts, the fans. Here we go. I've already got Michael Myers as soon as I walk in. Hound it. All right. Cairo's buddy, Michael Myers. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> See that? Yeah. It's actually got a lot of space. Got a bunch of uh, nice t shirts and Haddonfield merchandise. We're gonna have to keep walking around. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Look at all these amazing and cool posters. Wow. This booth has a bunch of customized posters. I like that one that's in the fall colors, the orange. Wow. Look at all these amazing looking posters. Definitely gonna go broke on this booth. The amazing Tom Atkins. Look at that line for Tom. John, you said something about uh, how you affect people. And I think what's really apparent today is how much everyone appreciates. I know you guys just showed up for work to do your part, but here we are all these years later celebrating what you left on the screen for us. And you all brought your A-game to your job that day, and it counted. It counts, and it, and it still counts today. It's gonna count five years from now. It's gonna count 100 years from now. So thank you all for bringing your passion and your craft and sharing it with us, everybody. Nick Castle, PJ Souls, Nancy Rose Guys, John Michael Graham, Will Sandin, and Sandy Johnson. Come on, let's go. Happy Halloween, Thank you all for being here. After the panel lets out, everybody floods back to 
the show floor. Got a lot of actors and actresses from all the Halloween franchises on the exterior of the halls, signing autographs, talking to fans. Bunch of really cool stuff over here. Bunch of tea cups. Books. You can get some art books. Ghostbusters, my favorite. Those are pretty cool. Amazing t-shirts, artwork, paintings, you name it. We've got it all. Even got my even got my t-shirt here. <laughs> all right. Nice. We got knives. Themed with four characters. Killer Art Company. Got some marquees here. Posters in them. Got metal cutouts. Oh, that's so cool. Look at those. Oh, oh no. Let's go down here. Go wash your hands, bud. Go wash your hands. Let's see if he does it. No. <laughs> We got some Halloween Kills uh, actors and actresses from the movie. Dick Warlock. All kinds of people. These posters, the exclusives for Halloween 45. Looking out of the mask of Michael Myers. Might have to buy a couple of these. That's <laughs> so cool. Here at the art of Jason Edmondson. Drop Dead Fred on Blu ray. Look at that. Roadhouse. One of my favorite movies. So many good movies. Sean Clark from Four Hollow Ground talking to folks at the con. And now since I've been out there, I mean, like I can I see every palm tree and stuff now. I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, I like to think that people were exotic and bringing this stuff home with yeah. them from trips. You never, you never know. <laughs> and in general, I mean, I still this is like we were talking. Yeah. Some actual props from the movies. Michael Myers' knife from Halloween Resurrection. Look at that. For me, it's the beginning cutscene. Insane. Day two, Halloween 45. About to head in. Heard there may be a secret panelist today, or panelists. I don't know. We'll see. This, this I see silver. Do you want to stay with silver or Grand Theft? 
right? All I gotta do is find that mother. But as you can see, we all had a pretty good time on Halloween together. And that was a big thing. We had a blast, actually. And that was the, the most fun I've ever had directing and ever making a movie, ever. Oh. And it was awesome. Yeah, it got worse from there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to compliment you, John. Um, you were hitting your stride by that was your third feature Halloween. And you were getting into your own style and you ran a fun uh, set. You were easy and loose and fun to work with. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Do you know who the guy on the end is? Yeah. Huh? Still waiting for my beer. <laughs> We're going back into the Myers house. Got my buddy Todd with me. He's going into the Myers house today. Todd, what'd you think? That was definitely surreal. Going into the bedrooms and stuff? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we sat in Michael Myers' bedroom. You could have. If not, we walked through it, because I'm pretty sure it was on my side. Did you get like a feeling inside? Oh yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yep, at the, at the Myers house here in South Pasadena. Just wanted to get a few shots. Well, Last time I was here, it was kind of bustling on Oxley and Fairview here, but the Strode House is now up for sale. Hey, wait a minute. They do got a pumpkin on the front porch. Look at that. Just in time for Halloween 45 fans. One last time. It's for sale right now. So if any of you fans out there have the money or the means to purchase this house, here's the information. I'll let you pause that there to take a look. The Strode House. It's always nice to stop by here and take it all in. This stoop right here, a couple times I've sat here with my uh, with my son and before that with the pumpkin and before that brought my buddy Todd out here so it's all full circle we're standing in the courtyard of the South Pasadena Library it's kind of a Nice little photo opportunity here. The South Pasadena Water Tower. Those birds above looking looking down on us right now. I don't know if they approve or not, but it's a cool shot. So 
some of you Halloween 2 fans might know, this alley is kind of familiar. Got Todd down there acting as the shape. Some of you may know that this is the alley from Halloween 2. Where Dr. Loomis narrowly misses Michael as he kind of ducks behind one of these sheds back here. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure this is one of the houses where he goes into the backyard and gets the butcher knife off the table. I don't know if it's that house back here or if it's this house. It could be this house. Kind of looks a little familiar that might be the house not sure so i just looked it up and it is this house right here where michael narrowly escapes dr loomis this is the house right here michael grabs the butcher knife as the old lady's watching the night of the living dead marathon but it's right here See you in the next video.